Day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain this sort of scam that you'll see from so-called white hat hackers. I just received an email from this Arslan guy saying, your websites have the XML RPC, remote procedure call, open, and it can cause serious damage to your server. And, you know, here are the steps to reproduce it. And uh, I would like you to send me some money I'm not going to tell you how much because I'm a white hat hacker and, you know, I'm just trying to do the right thing. Yeah, I call bull. So what they're doing is they're running standard scripts to check your sites to see the tiniest of problems they can report to you and scare you. And what you'll do or what a lot of people will do is they'll say, oh, God, thank you for that. And they'll send them, you know, 50 bucks or 100 bucks or something. Well, let's look into this one in particular and how you fix it and what the backstory is. Just Google whatever they tell you is the problem. In this case, the XML RPC, and I've found this lovely quick explanation from the good people at InMotion Hosting. By the way, it's unsponsored, not giving me anything. It's saying, look, this has been turned on since WordPress 3.5, and it's safe enough that it's not just on by default, you can't turn it off. So is it really a crisis? I'm gonna say no. Now, it probably should be turned off. Most WordPress sites do not need XML remote procedure call functionality. So how do you turn it off? Well, you can fire up your FileZilla or whatever file transfer program you use, and you can open up your HTA access file, and then you can add this little bit of code that it shows right here. Okay, that's one way to go, and that'll work, but there's a far easier way. You sign into your website, and then go into your control panel, Go to plugins, select add new, and then do a simple search for disable XML RPC. And shock of shocks, look what it comes up with. Oh, there's this one that has the most number of installs, which is you know, what I would normally go with, but I've used this one before and it doesn't work. Ooh, not good. Uh, one of the reasons I think is because it was updated two years ago. So what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use this one, disable uh, this one. So let's click install now and then activate. And how do you test it? Well, not very hard. Go to the email the guy sent you. In this case, it's this XML RPC thing. Try the link they sent you. Fixed. And just to prove it's working, let's go to deactivate, fresh. Oh, it's back to working. Let's go activate it again. And it says, you know, it accepts posts and we'll just click refresh and now it's dead again. Now, before we go, there's two other things to mention. Firstly, the question of, should you really disable this? So I use WordFence for my security and you can read through this and it says, you know, some developers use this and so that's why it's on. But it gets down to this. We don't disable XML RPC on our own sites. So WordFence, which is the preeminent anti-malware defense tool that WordPress sites use, they don't turn it off. And they don't even think it's a big enough problem to turn off uh, as an option using their own interface. And that gets us back to the whole notion of these quote, white hat hackers like this guy. So I'm sending them this message. Because, you know, I haven't replied to him and kindly waiting for your response, basically send me some money. No, this is a very common issue that while it can cause problems, is very unlikely to. You are running standardized scripts to try to find common known issues and then asking for money. Technically, that is white hat. But the intention is to semi-extort money from unsuspecting non-tech webmasters. So people that aren't technical. With respect, quit checking my sites and remove me from your lists. Yeah, this guy is not trying to help me or you. What he's trying to do is scare you a bit and have you shoot him 50 bucks, 100 bucks, which just encourages more of this. If you want to keep yourself safe, keep your site, which means your theme and your WordPress and all your plugins up to date. And secondly, use some sort of anti-malware tool, some defense tool like WordFence. By the way, they haven't paid me a penny. They don't even know I'm doing this. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe is also always appreciated. And you can get a hold of us if you'd like at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.